How, how corrupt is Rio today? Right. Um, it's very corrupt. I mean, um, I don't know all the corruption, of course, because we only know um, what gets out there. But it's uh, politici politics in Brazil is corrupt, uh, not only in Rio. Um, and actually, most of what you've seen in this film is true. So I'll give you an example. We opened this movie with a rebellion in a jail in which one gang wants to kill the leader of another gang. And an NGO leader comes, you know, to stop the police. That NGO leader exists in real life. His name in real life is Marcelo Freixo. He's a friend of mine. And he went to be elected to the state legislation. And when he was elected, uh, he started to investigate the militias that were taking over the slums from the drug dealers. And, uh, and so he couldn't push the investigation through to the Congress uh, until journalists, all of this happened. Journalists were tortured by militia people, and then the press went after the militia, and then there was an investigation, and people got arrested. So what you see in this movie happened. Marcelo Freixo, uh, two months ago, had to leave, even though he's a congressman, he had to leave Brazil. Amnesty International took him to Europe, because there was uh, 250,000 reais um, award to get him killed, you see? So it, it's still, that's how real it is today. It's getting better a little bit, and it has some things that are working because of the Olympics. We're gonna have in 2014, I think, the Olympics, and then we're gonna have the World Cup. Uh, and so the politicians have to fix the city for those uh, international events. So they're sort of moving a little bit, uh, and it's, you know, trying to get, spell drug dealers from certain slams. Uh, without putting militias in, in, in place. But it's pretty much like this.